Hello. It's Sunday night and I'm trying to unfrog a leg. That sounds funny, doesn't it? I'm trying to unfog a leg. I made a a boy damn it doll today and I remembered that um, she wanted so that it could sit so I have to take out some of the fibers and I just you know dang on it I just I'm glad I remembered so I've been working today not all day I slept till like 12 11 or 12 I was so tired Last night after I got sh done shopping, man, the fatigue just hit, zapped me. Just zapped me. So I went and laid down on the couch, and I turned on a, a movie on, on uh, Prime, Amazon. Rosie got on top of me, and we slept till after 8 o'clock. It was after 8 o'clock before I woke up again. So... Um, I stayed up a little bit later than normal last night because I really wasn't sleepy. So I worked a little bit. So anyway, I finished my, I finished my scarf last night. Here she goes. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? I love it. I love the color, the colors. But this is the. Glorious Granny uh, by Fiber Spider. And I love it because the V, let me see if you can see, let me turn it down. The V, see, comes right down like this, real pretty. Like, it's perfect for this kind of, um, kind of scarf. So I love it. So I got that all finished. And that was my goal last night because it was a little bit cooler in here than normal, so it didn't. And boy, let me tell you, I used my new clover. And let me tell you something. It went just like that. No splitting, nothing. I, it was smooth going from then on out. And I always like to keep that, a little bit of yarn just in case. So that's done. And today I made um, these two cozies, and I have to show you, it was this one, no, this one. This one's funny because, and I didn't intentionally do this, but the, the pussies are right in the curve of the, of the bowl. I thought that was so cool. And I did not do that intentionally. And so I made two because I've got an order for two. And also, I cut out a bunch of more in that other cap material. So I've got that cut. And I really like this batting because it, it is made for microwave. And it's thick. It's nice. It's real nice. So I don't know if you saw um, Dina's. I had uh, snuck in one in her little uh, gift. She had ordered a bag, and I st stuck one of these in there just as a surprise. And I think she was surprised. So, And it was made out of this. Now, when I went yesterday, this is called Novelty uh, Fabric. They didn't have it. None of it. And I went to both. I've been to both, and I don't know if they'll have it back or not. So we'll see. But, boy, I'll tell you, next time I get this, I'm going to buy a whole bunch of them. So I got that done today, and I've been working on my my boy doll, and then I've got to unravel this so I can figure out what I'm going to do with the cape. What else did I do? Oh, I worked on my, I did work on this last night, so it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger and bigger. That's for the, for the, um. You know, for the little cotton top that I'm making. 
So yeah, so I've almost got this square done. So that's moving along nicely. So I've got, um, so when I finish this, uh, this dude, that order will be filled. And then I have, um, one, two, I got three more orders to go. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing real good. I'm just taking my time. Um, I don't know if I told y'all yesterday that I rewrote um, my pattern into Word, which I'm real happy about. I got an email from um, the young man that is doing my logo for me, and it's cool. I like it. He came up with a good one. So he's going to do me a banner and, um, you know, to put across on my social media and stuff like that. And he's going to send me all the stuff that I need so that I can put my logo on my pattern and my other stuff. So now I, can, I have a, a logo and uh, he did a great job, a really nice job. And um, so I'm looking forward to getting that, that done. And once I have the logo on, then I my pattern will be ready. And, and people have been asking me, so the beach bag, Billy's beach bag, will be ready hopefully next week and then I will put out uh, do a little announcement and um, then I'll post it on my Facebook page and my crafty Floridian page on Facebook yeah I'll get that done Instagram stuff like that I can only do one thing at a time and I have to conquer one thing before I start trying to conquer another so Bear with me. We'll get, I don't do Instagram because I, I really don't have a, I don't have a cell phone, so I don't worry about that kind of stuff. But that other thing, Ravelry or whatever that is, I know a lot of people use that. But um, um, I find it a little bit confusing myself. Only because I guess I don't sit down and um, figure out how to work it and I get frustrated on that part and I probably have to uh, do a little research it's just like on the pattern I did um, I went and found some tutorials on the type of information you should have on your pattern and you know little things like that so I got that all straightened out so um, I don't know how I'll ever be able to thank Debbie and uh, Karen for for doing working on that and getting they basically got all the written part done and I just uh, kind of consolidated some of the stuff to shorten it up a little bit and um, I put the original picture of the original bag that I did on the pattern so that um, and there's a little sneak peek of my picture on there yeah oh yeah so I think tomorrow somebody said tomorrow is Monday right that tomorrow um, there won't be any mail because of the um, it's some kind of a holiday Are you kidding somebody must have been kidding that must have been a joke let me see well, it doesn't say that it's a holiday here. Maybe that was just a, somebody just pulling my leg or something. I don't know. So, but yeah, we'll see what happens. T Tuesday, I go to St. Pete with my neighbor. She's facing some judges at, uh, on Social Security and stuff like that. <sighs> Daggone it, I can't seem to find the end of this. I, that's why I hate working with glue. Wait a minute. I, see, I pull it and I see where it's pulling. I can't get it to go. So today I watched, uh, I just watched a movie. I'm just taking it easy. Um, working on my stuff. I cut out a bunch of more um, 
cozies with the other, you know, and I've still got more to cut out. And, and uh, what's your name? Like, uh, Deanna liked my um, project bag I sent her, so I'm real happy about that. Yeah, y'all see watching me struggle, huh? Uh, let's see. What, I've gotten some questions today. I should have written some of them down. Um, the other thing I haven't worked on is the um, mitten, something mitten stash or whatever it is. Well, I haven't worked on that, uh, which I was going to do tonight after I finished this doll. And then I'll work. And that'll complete one order, and then I can work on the other one. Come on. This is frustrating. Don't you hate doing that, pulling things out? I just don't know where. Where did they go? I do such a good job in hiding my um, stitches that I can't find them. It's either that or I have to get a magnifying glass. Because... I hate working with navy blue, but I wanted to on this doll because I haven't done a doll in navy blue. But, um, come on. Stinker. What a stinker. This is a real stinker. What about here? I just, what I'm going to end up doing is messing up the end of my leg here. And I'm almost tempted to. Where is it going? Just cutting the leg off, to be honest with you, and start over. I might do that because this is getting very frustrating. It's not fair. So I did a little, I went on a few lives today. Yes, I did. Talked to a few people. Of course, D, D is there. D, honey, I just don't know about you. You're just all over the place. You're like the honorary subscriber. I think we need to put your name on a wall or something, or a star, something like that. Okay, I've had it with this. Now, let me see. Which one? This one I did first. Oh, no, that's good. So which one did I do second? Well, it doesn't matter. I'll just have to. All right, here we go. I'm cutting it. I hate doing it. <laughs> I hate doing it like this. Forgive me. He's cutting his leg off. So, what have y'all been up to today? We've had a nice. Nice uh, sunny day to here in Florida. We're talking about having a Florida retreat. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? God, I don't know if I could put I don't know if I could put something together like that. That would be hard to do. We'd have to find a place and then rent a room, and we'd have to find a place where we could stay. So we could all be together. And then we'd have to have a special room. And then, and I thought, well, with our, if we did a retreat, oops, that's my name thing. We would have to, um, oops, there it goes. Okay. That we would have to do something like, we, we're not crystals, so we can't all buy a bunch of yarn and all that stuff. So what we could do is that we could pretend like it's a yarn. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm so smart. We could pretend like it's a, a yarn swap. And we each bring a box or a bag or whatever of um, our yarn as a, or whatever we want to put in a box. And wrap that box and then we could do sort of like a you know a little switch a little thing where we 
like a Christmas kind of thing where we put a number on the box and then we put, put the numbers in a bag and everybody draw a number and that would be your your yarn swap. There we go. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm just thinking of, you know, because we could all contribute to maybe see how much it would cost, like, to get a room. Or or we could, um, um, depending on how many people, maybe we could, um, let's see, date. No, we'd want a place in there. We'd probably have to rent a room there, wherever we were, you know, whatever, wherever we stayed. So that way we don't have to venture out a lot for all of us old people. You get, you know what I mean? So that could be fun. But it's something to think about, right? We could um, uh, meet somewhere uh, in the middle of the state. Probably be a lot cheaper to do that. Like... Um, Middle of the state was good. Uh, near Orlando, maybe, or some place. Oops, been in the something like that. I think that would be cool. That would be fun, don't you think? We we'll have to think about it. We could do it in the fall or something. Yeah. I'm just, uh, I think that's all I'm going to have to, that's all I'm going to have to do on that. Okay, now we're going to put some more. Y'all think about it. It might be fun to do, plan something like that, you know, for our little group. And I know people like uh, Carrie would come, and she's in South Carolina. That's not a long trip for her. She could come. And we have some other Georgia South Carolina, people like that. We could get a nice group together. But um, if y'all got any ideas, come on up with them and we'll see what we can do. That's good. That'll go set that way. And um, I think that would be fun. Ever showed you how I tie my knots? Last night when this thing is going down. I take uh yeah, boy. I take overlap them and I take one side and I tie the knot using the same strand now that you tie that knot there, then I go to this side, oops, side loop you can't see but it's hard to show. Loop that, and then I do it like that, and then I cuff those ends, and you can't even see them. I know they have, like, the Russian knot or whatever, but this is so easy. This is easier for me. And you never see the knot. I mean, it's just so tiny, and it won't come undone. Like, today, I was, um, I was, I was crocheting something, and all of a sudden, it, in, it, um, it ended. <laughs> There's this blue up here. So I had to cut it and um, join it. And you can't see where I did that. So that worked out pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's think about a retreat. That would be fun. That would be so much fun to see everybody. And, uh, and I'm saying and, and uh, a lot. I shouldn't be doing that. But anyway, I think, I think that would be fun. Nothing funny went on today. Nothing funny at all. I'm kind of happy with the yarn I got to do the cow, our cow with. I uh, have it in a project bag already to go. I got to start, start doing my part here soon. So that's for May 1st. And um, the other thing is um, the square. God, what is wrong with me? My grammar is so bad. 
the square for my brother-in-law, six inches, number three yarn, and just mail it to me. And, and I've got a container. I'll show you what I did. See, i got a little container. That's how many we've gotten so far. There for the time being, and there's no timetable on it. So whenever we get enough together, I um, I was going to wait till I got got enough squares together, and what I might do is go around each square. I'll get a certain yarn. I don't know. Maybe a I don't know what color. Maybe a blue or something in light blue or whatever and go around each square and then that'll be our border you know around the side and start putting some together we all have our tricks for putting stuff like that together so you know, we'll figure that out later so we got that done I got some things packed up yesterday and ready to be mailed so that makes me feel good I tell you, I was just I was just working with this red heart scrubby yarn. What a pain in the butt. It kept unraveling and unraveling. Every time I made a stitch, I'd leave three 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 uh, three little strands behind. It was just driving me crazy. Whew. So I'm glad I got finished with that. I don't want to mess with that. I don't like that scrubby. Maybe with a bigger hook. I'm with a smaller hook. Maybe it won't split with a, a bigger hook. So I guess that's about all for beta number 13. And um, yeah, I guess that's it. I got a few things done, but not a lot. But I want to get working on those squares. But I want to, and I have some more cozies if anybody's interested. Um, I'll have some of those ready. I like the it, one of the fabrics has um, donuts on it, which I thought was cute, real cute. But I. I'm going to make the cats first, and then the donuts. And then, if anybody wants a project bag, let me know. I can, of course, make it. Um, I like put, I, in Dina's, I put a real long um, pocket in it so that you can put your needle and stuff in there. So, those are my kind of project bag. I like that kind better. Whoops, I think I overdid that a little bit. Here we go. Right there. See how... See, now isn't that even? <laughs> yes, that's, I am not good at this. I don't, I don't count stitches and stuff. I just do it. Because this baby, you got it going again. I guess I could do it this way. But I hope everybody had a great weekend. I, uh, I did. I enjoyed my day yesterday by myself riding around and some of you've got some people have got the wrong impression that I don't have air conditioning at home I do have air conditioning oops Shoot, I, forgot to put, I forgot to put some stuffing in it um I do have air conditioning at home I just don't have air conditioning in my car and yesterday there was a breeze and it wasn't bad it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be yesterday it turned out nice a nice afternoon and I went late it wasn't like I was out at noontime or whatever see these old people around here <laughs> these old people around here they get up early and they get in their little cars and they go do their shopping early in the morning and they do their um, they do their um, garage you know garage sale shopping and all that stuff Know, like 7 30 in the morning or whatever well honey I'm still I'm still uh, sawing logs at that time I let everybody get out in the mornings and get whatever they got to get 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 and then I go out 
and usually it's in the after. I don't do any, I try not to do anything before noon. All my appointments are scheduled after 12. I don't like having to, like, I just don't like getting up early and having to do that. Drop my needle. I think I have another one here. So I do my things in the afternoon. And that way, um, the traffic, and we don't have traffic. Well, we do have some traffic, like uh, after work traffic, you know, people going home from work. But it's, it's not too bad. In fact, a lot of people, a lot of people down here, um, Northport, we're only like 20 miles from Sarasota. A lot of people, you know, work in, in Venice is only 10 miles away, but a lot of people work there. In Port Charlotte, it's like 10 miles. So I'm right in the middle of all of it. But the traffic's not that bad. And I'm always going against the traffic anyway. And boy, there's, it's like, like nothing compared to the D.C. area where I came from. So, no, I don't, I don't mind at all. I love it, in fact. Everything's within a mile of me. Everything. There's even a Hobby Lobby. I just don't go in Hobby Lobby very much. Because they don't have sales like Joanne. Now, Joanne's is 10 miles in Venice and 12 miles to... Um, North, Northport. Yeah. No. Uh, North, Port Charlotte. God, between the north and the ports. Get me all confused. So. So I felt good that I got two things done yesterday. The old haircut. Now, this was a new girl. And I liked her. She did a good job. She cut it. And then um, she took the shears after you know and because my hair doesn't lay well unless you thin off the ends of it and she said boy you got a head of hair i said hey you wouldn't have said that if you'd seen me a couple months ago before i started taking my vitamin d i said my head hair was coming out like crazy let's see what i want his arms that right there don't you love the way I do things? Oh, just about right there would be good. Yes, sir, Bob. Okay. So, oh, and I have, I have a, an order, which, now this is going to be fun to do. And it'll be a first also. I have a doll, a request for a doll for, for, for a male. And he's a motorcycle guy. That's going to be fun. And she wanted me to put a full beard on him. Gray beard. That's why I went and got that gray yarn. Because I wanted to do it right. So now I have a little gray gray. And I have a little light gray. And I have a little medium gray. And I don't know about you. But there's not too many, too many beards that are uh, completely white. They usually have a little dark or medium gray in them so I'm ready so that's gonna be fun and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do him like a like a, a, a t-shirt well a shirt maybe in white and then put heart uh, HD on it, Harley Davidson for the for for his motorcycle I don't see why not I could do that Anyway, I'm, there's, I've got a couple ideas running around in my head. So I, I've got a couple more male dolls to do. So I like to experiment. I like that one that I did that had the trousers and the bow tie to match. Now that was fun to do too. But uh, I don't, I mean I could do two, two alike, but I don't like to. I like to not do it that way. So, yeah, so I got... Kinds of stuff going here. <laughs> Y'all watching me work. I guess I should get off of here, huh? But I just wanted to get my vlog, blog, a blog, a vlog, whatever it is. And um, 
Cheryl's baby's doing better, I think. And I haven't talked to her today. Her buzz. But otherwise, everything's going, doing well. So hopefully this coming week we'll have the pattern out. We'll have um, next Friday your homework is to think about us doing a retreat and how we're going to do it and stuff. I need some, some feedback on that. Y'all are always full of ideas. So we have a, I just think it'd be a fun time. We don't have to do it just for a couple days. I mean, we don't even, we don't even have to do it on a weekend, do we? Because we're all retired, basically. Not a lot of us work. But we could do it for a couple days during the week. Let's see. What do y'all think? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to say goodnight so I can uh, get back to work. I had my lunch about 5. So I'm going to go peel me an apple. I have to get my my fruit. I had a banana this morning. So i got to get my fruit in. Get my... I have to have my fruit and my green veggies every day. I have to have something about, I don't know what it does, but the uh, the nurse at the people that take care of me for my uh, warfarin, the cardiologist and everything, that, that warfarin has to, I have to have, I have to have, um, green veggies or if the numbers go really high and we don't want my numbers high so uh, I try to get my and you're not you can't overdo it you, don't, you, you can't do a whole cup it's like a half a cup or something so I usually keep uh, frozen broccoli because I like broccoli and I usually keep frozen bro broccoli because um, I can just steam it in the microwave or sometimes I like to do a stir fry and I put, uh, you know, like beef and broccoli or something like that and I put the broccoli in it. So I always have a few bags of that, several bags of that going on. Yes, sorry, Bob. So, yeah. Got to take care of this old body, man. I don't know why, but we have to take care of it. And I just oh, I sat down to get that haircut yesterday. And, you know, I don't look in the mirror very often, except when I'm here. And I got you plugged up to my TV, so I, I want to keep looking at myself because I was just, I was so embarrassed. God, I look like a two-ton Sally, you know. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. So, I, I don't know. what I'm going to do about it. Can't stop eating, but then I can't eat what I should eat because I, it hurts too much. and You know, it's just a pain in the butt. And I don't eat that much. I eat my meals and that's about it. So, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, chunky, chunky, Billy, chunky, chunky, chunky. I was kind of kind of um, overweight when I was in, I guess, elementary school or whatever. And the kids used to call me Billy Goat. Oh, God. Or Fatso. Oh, Fatso. Come here, Fatso. They were so cruel. It did hurt. But when I was, um, I think when I was a junior in high school, I started thinning down. And by the time I was a senior... I was down to a size 7. I must have weighed about 125 pounds or 20 pounds or something like that. That's the smallest I've ever been in my whole life. And I used to think 150 was overweight. Shoot. That would be my goal right now. 150. Okay, now I've got his arms on, his little shirt, his little, his little baby blue pants. Now I gotta just have color hair. I want him to have some cool hair. I know what kind of hair. I think it's blue kind of hair. But I 
think I'm going to have to do a little stitching on his legs. She wants him to sit in a rocker with her other doll. So I might have to stitch that. Unless it will sit. Oh, it'll sit there. Yeah, man. It's sitting on the computer. I'm just talking to it. Rosie's in there pouting. Every time I move, she wants a treat. And she's not getting a treat all the time. Those things, i can only allowed to give her 12 a day. And I keep telling her that. And she just doesn't understand. So. Now I'm going to do the hair. And fix them up a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, I just love it. I love it. I love it. So. Mm. I just got to look at, at the color hair I'm going to give him. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. I've got to, uh, I'm going to finish me doll. And then I won't, won't, won't let me. Y'all understand that language? <laughs> Oh, gosh, I don't even know what time it is. It's quarter after eight. Jeez, oh, wow. After eight already? God, I tell you, there's just not enough hours in the day to do the stuff that we want to do. Is there? Nope. Well, I'm going to say adieu. Uh, thank you all for um, tuning in. Y'all was so much fun. I just enjoy it so much. And, uh, you know, do your little like and your little subscribe and all that good stuff. Yeah. Do whatever you feel like doing. That's what I do. And uh, don't let anybody get in your way, man. Don't let anybody bully you. Just do what you want to do. Uh, it was good to see that Z went to that. Uh, I don't know if anybody watched Z or not today or yesterday, but she went to a yarn shop and she won the fastest crocheter. She got some needles and some yarn and all kinds of stuff. So she had a good day yesterday, and I'm glad she she um, that she did. And I just wish she had more support at home. Um, I just. You know, her sons are probably lucky that I'm not around. I'd probably beat the you living you-know-what out of them. Treat their mother the way they do. She needs some support, and she doesn't have it. And that's such a shame. But, um, Z, you can do something about it, honey. Absolutely do something about it. Get rid of them, or you leave them, or leave the house. Whatever you need to do. But put yourself first. You're still young. And you don't want to end up like old and crotchety and all that good stuff. You just want to love. And I think that's all that you want is a little love. I don't blame you. Everybody wants to be loved. Okay, guys. I'm going to say, about, I'm going to say goodbye again. And I'll look right in the old camera right there. And I'm going to say goodbye. Have a great week. Um, tomorrow, yeah, I'll be on tomorrow, I'm sure. Uh, Tuesday, I don't know. It depends on if I'm dead, if I'm dead by the time I get back from that trip. Um, it takes a lot out of me, but, you know, I don't want to disappoint her. Even though she disappoints me. But I'm not giving in to it. Okay, my friends. I will talk to you later. And, um... Uh, I have to start writing down these questions y'all ask so that I can answer or, you know, get back at you on those. I try to answer as many as I can, but I know some I might miss, so we'll do that. All right, I'm looking right in the camera. I'm saying good night, and this is a final, the very final. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the big bugs bite. Bye.